Hey everyone, this is Michelle with Foxy Chick Designs and Magnolia Design Company with a Tuesday tutorial for you and a schedule update with Foxy Chick Designs. I'm going to wait a minute to see if anyone hops on. If you're hopping on, if you will give me a thumbs up or just say hello so I know that you're here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the website in the comments. Um, how is everyone doing this Tuesday night? website tagged in the comments anyhow I am going to go ahead and get started um, first things first if you're popping on and you're catching the live you see um, just right above my head on this side if you see a little red box that says live you are catching me live and if you would put a number one in the comments if you don't see that little um, live right about there, um, if you are not seeing me live and you're catching the replay, if you will comment hashtag replay. And um, if this is the first time that actually, sorry, scratch that. If you're catching me live, if you'll comment hashtag live. If you're catching the replay, if you'll comment hashtag replay. If this is the first time that you've ever seen one of my videos, if you will comment with a number one. And if you've watched our videos before, if you will comment with a number two, that just lets me know who our new people are and who my returning friends are. Um, so first things first, I will start with the update. Um, I, I love doing my live videos for you guys, um, with my schedule right now, um, with the COVID-19 my work has not shut down at all. So I'm still working my normal hours, doing my normal work. Um, for that, I'm very thankful because I know there's a lot of people that are not working right now and they're um, either laid off or um, been just totally let go from their jobs. So I am very thankful that I do have my job. That being said, um, I'm gonna commit right now to two live videos a week. Um, you'll get your Tuesday tutorial, which will be Tuesday evenings. And I'm going to continue with our Saturday morning. It was chalking and jammies. Um, I'm actually going to kind of rename that one to it's going to be our Saturday morning chalk and sip. So Saturday morning, you can be in your PJs, grab your favorite drink and join me live. And the Saturday morning will happen probably around eight thirty nine o'clock on Saturday mornings and our Tuesday tutorials will happen about mm, right about this time between anywhere from 5:30 to 6:30. Um I will make sure on Tuesday nights that I give you guys uh like a 5 minute window before I'm going to go live and I'll show um the products like I did tonight. Um so for right now, you'll definitely have a Tuesday tutorial and a Saturday morning chalk and sip. Um, if I, by chance, pop on extra um, during the week, then that's an extra bonus for you. But I don't want to leave you guys hanging, wait, you know, th waiting to try to find out if I'm coming live or not. Um, so those are the two. It'll be a Tuesday tutorial and the Saturday morning chalk and sip. Um, if in any one of those videos, if you have a technique you'd like to see done, um, a stencil that you would like to see used, or a surface that you would like to see used, if you will um, leave me comments or message me, um, I would love to create some of the things that you guys are looking for. 
Um, I don't, I mean, I create things for my own home. I create things to get ready for vendor events and, and craft fairs that I do. Um, so if there's something that you would like to see or a stencil you'd like to see used or a color combination, um, please message me. I'd love to be able to have those ideas and create that for you. Um, the other thing I wanted you to know, anytime that you see a project being created, if it's something that you're interested in, um, everything I make is for sale. I will tell you if it's something I'm making for my own home. Um, but if even if it's something I'm making for my own home, I can always recreate it. So if it's something that you see and you would like, you're interested in a price or getting one created in specific colors for you. Um, hey, Missy. Um, if you will message me, um, I can give you a price and I can also, you know, change colors if there's a specific color combination that you're looking for. All that being said, that's that's the update for tonight. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to um, comment um, on this video or you can private message me through um, the Facebook page here. Um, I will answer any questions that you may have. Um, I do enjoy interacting with um, my friends and my fans and those that jump on each time that I go live because without you guys I have no business at all um, I enjoy what I do um, but it is a business as well and so without you guys I I have nothing so I do appreciate you guys jumping on I appreciate the fact that you interact with me um, I appreciate the fact that you comment I appreciate the fact that you share um, if those that are popping on, if you would um, share this video with your friends, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, so that's that's the update for tonight. So the products that I'm going to be using tonight, I'm going to be using some of our um, coal black chalk paste. I'm going to be using our butt nuggets stencil, and it comes with two. I'm going to be using this cluck oink moo because that one I absolutely love. And the surface that I'm using is a, I believe it's like a cutting board that I found. I found it at a thrift store, I think. And it looked like this. It was just a raw wood piece. And I used some gray stain. And the stain that I use is from Midwax. It's wood finishing penetrating stain. And it's a classic gray. And this is the stain that I used um, to stain this board. And so it, it kind of looks, I don't know, up close to me, it looks like it's scratched and, um, kind of worn, but I, I do like it because it gives that worn outlook effect type thing. And then I'm also going to be using, um, some of this white and black, um, ribbon for around the top. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get you guys turned around so that you can see what you're doing. Where are you going? Okay. Sorry, that was the dad. My wonderful 80, soon to be 81 year old father goes with my husband and I and him being cooped up during this virus has been really crazy for him and so we have a park that's real close to us and he likes to be able to go walk a little bit just to get out and it's probably not the safest thing for him to do but it's better than kind of having a caged animal um because he likes to be out and about and with church being online and you know library being closed and the senior center being closed and everything around us being closed um that's really the only thing that he gets to do is to go out and go for a walk so he was just letting me know that he was leaving to go to do that okay i'm gonna get you guys turned around and that way we can get started with this all right you know what and actually i think there we go and i'm gonna pull this out just a little bit so that you guys can see the whole board. So this is the board. And I'm going to get my stencil opened. 
and I'm just gonna pull out um, <coughs> pull out this lovely little stencil and I'm just gonna line it up here and I'm going to this is a stencil that I've used before so I already have it marked on the back and you well if you get a brand new stencil you're going to want to mark the back because these are reusable silkscreen adhesive um, stencils that can be used over and over and over again so I'm just going to go ahead and pull this from the back and because I've used this one I'm I don't need to lint it it is um, the stick is still there but it's not as bad so I'm not going to go ahead and lint it at all but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to kind of lay it up, line it up with the bottom. Uh, let me see here. Um, I'm going to line it up right about there. And I'm going to just smooth it out, making sure that there's no bubbles in my silk screened areas. Whoop. I'm going to just make sure this is all smoothed out. And I'm actually going to take my squeegee and I'm going to go over it because you can hear that there are still some air bubbles. And I just want to make sure that they're all out because I don't want this to bleed underneath. Okay. So I think I've got that all lined up and squared away. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my black chalk paste. And I'm going to spread some water in here. And I'm going to grab my, my stir stick and I'm just going to give this a good stir and get this all stirred up. And it's not quite the consistency that I want, so I'm going to spray a little bit more water in there. Because you want your consistency of paste to be like frosting in a can. Or yogurt. Whichever. And if you like it a little bit thicker, then it you don't have to make it quite as thin. And if you like it a little bit thinner, you can just continue to add water. If you see that you've added too much water and it's too thin, just let it sit open for a little bit and it will um, thicken up. All right, so now I've got this to the consistency that I want. So I'm just making sure I've got it off the sides because you don't want it to dry there. I'm gonna set my stir stick aside. I'm gonna grab my squeegee and I'm gonna just dip in, get a little bit of the chalk paste and I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to work my way down. And actually, I'm going to just put some of this down. And you can always, I know that's a lot that I put on there, but I can squeegee up the excess and put it back in my jar when I'm all done. So I'm just squeegeeing over the silk screened areas, making sure that they are all covered. And be also being careful not to go off the side. And then the excess, I'm just gonna put right back into my jar. And I'll just go over it a couple times and get up the excess and put it back in the jar. Yeah. yeah, and I got some on my finger. And that's something you want to be very careful of when you're picking up the extra 
I'm going to make sure that you're not getting it on your project with your fingers. Okay. Now that I have gotten that all up and I've made sure that all of my silkscreen areas are covered, I'm going to get the rest of this off my squeegee. I'm going to set my squeegee aside. And before I peel it up, I because as you can see, I've got chalk paste on my fingers. I'm going to grab one of my disinfectant wipes and I'm going to just clean off my hands. Because when I peel it up, I don't want to get the chalk paste on any of my um, project. And I got a little bit here on the side. And I'm just going to wipe that up. Okay. Now that my hands are all clean again, I'm going to go from the corner and work my way across. And I'm just going to pull this straight up. And voila, there is our little chicken and pig and cow. And I think, hey Deb, how are you? Let's see, is that the only person that's hopped on? Let me see here. Yep, how are you Deb? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out this Farm Fresh. And I think I'm going to try to put this. Yeah, do I want to do that? I don't know. Actually, you know what? I am going to do that. But I'm going to pull out my lovely little heat tool. And I'm going to get this dry before I do anything else. Because if I try to put down another stencil before I get this dry, it'll peel that all up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dry this. Get the chalk paste dry. If you're just popping on, if you will say hello and give me a thumbs up. Huh? Uh -huh. That was the hubs. Okay, let me see. All right. Yep, and we got that all dry. And now I'm just going to let that get back to room temperature before I put anything else on there. Oh, yep. There's my hubby. He just hopped on. He tries to hop on and give me support, and I appreciate that so very much of him. Okay, now that this is completely dry, I'm going to grab our Farm Fresh and I'm going, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Farm right here and I think I might put Fresh down over here somewhere. We're going to see. Okay, so I'm just going to use just a little bit of that paste because a little bit of paste will go a very long way. Okay, and I got that done, so I'm going to just go ahead and pull this up. So there's your farm. And you know what? Actually, I think I can get... Oh, before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and dry this. Okay, 
So now that's dry. I'm going to let that come back to room temperature before I lay this down again. Let me see. Will the fresh fit down here? I think it... Mm, what? Nope. The fresh will fit down here. So I think I'm going to do it down here. Actually, no I'm not. I'm going to put it over here. And I'm going to go ahead and smooth that all out. And I'm going to grab some more of my chalk paste. And I'm going to squeegee the rest off. And I'm going to pull that up. And there's your farm fresh. And I'm going to just go ahead and sit these stencils aside. And I'm going to go ahead and get this all dried off. Okay, and now that that's all dry, I'm going to close up my chalk paste because I am all done with that and I'm going to just scrape down the sides just so that it doesn't um, dry on the sides of the jar. And I'm going to, before I close up my jars, I always spray a little bit of water in there. And then I just put the lid on. And then I just throw this back up on my shelf. And that is all done. And good to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this ribbon. And I need to find my scissors. I cleaned up my craft area yesterday and not yesterday, Sunday. Sunday afternoon and wasn't quite sure where I put stuff and that's usually how it goes okay so now what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna put a cute little bow up here on top and I think And I think that should be good. And I'm not great at tying bows. Just so you know. I am not great at it. At all. But I'm trying to learn. And so... I'm going to and there's I'm gonna try and get that all down and there you go actually I want to pull that in a little bit and I'm going to actually 
cut a little bit more of that off. There we go. Okay, so there's our project for tonight. And just on a piece of wood that I found with some stain that I put on it that I found at a um, thrift store. And it's, you can find things like that all over the place. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull you back up to me. So if you like what you saw and you would like to get your hands on some of these products, if you've never chalked before and you would like to try it out and you would like a sample kit if you will comment sample in the comments I do have sample kits available for eight dollars and I can get up with you to um, get one of those sent out to you and in our sample kits what you will get is you will get a small stencil um, and each one is different um, let me see here I have, let me see, you get one of these little chalk chips, you will get a stir stick, you will get one of the little um, stencils, and you will get a sample chalk paste. And those are $8, and I do have, I think I have eight of those available. So if that's something that you are interested in, if you will comment sample in the comments and I will message you um, to get one of these sent out to you. Um, so that's the first one. Um, the second thing is um, if you like what you saw and you would like to get your hands on some of the um, stencils and the chalk paste themselves, I did post the website here in the comments you can head over there and you can look through um, the website and make a purchase if you you're sitting at home and you're thinking oh I wish you know I could make some extra money and you like to craft um, if you will comment team in the comments then I will get you the opportunity video that I have that tells you everything that you would need to know about Magnolia Design Company and what everything from the Get Started Kit, the compensation plan. Um, our kit, Get Started Kits right now are $69 plus tax and shipping. Um, so if you're interested in either joining my team to build a business to make money or if you are interested in just getting your hands on the Get Started Kit um, so that you can take advantage of our amazing 35% discount that we get as a creator, then if you will, if you will comment team um, in the comments, I will get that information out to you. The other thing that I have is I have my own um, Foxy Chick Club. And if you would like more details about um, getting into um, that club, if you will comment club in the comments and I will get reach out to you and get you more of the information for you to be a part of my um, Foxy Club, my Foxy Chick Club. Um, anyway, thank you so much for popping on. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe and staying well. And I will um, see you again on Saturday morning for our um, Saturday morning chalk and sip and um, kind of be watching the, the site and if you're um, friends on the um, or if you've liked the Foxy Chick page make sure that you've turned on your notifications so that you do see when I go live or when I post videos because um, like I said in the the update I'm going to be posting two I'm going to be doing two lives a week which is the Tuesday night and the Saturday morning but I may be posting um, pre-recorded videos or things that I get from corporate um so that you guys are in the know and you guys are seeing what new stuff is coming out all the time. So thank you again so much for watching. Hope you have a great night. Bye.